Hi everyone, my name is Elmer. Today I want to tell you about the most incredible experience of my life. This mind-blowing experience did not happen in this realm. A brief history is needed to help explain why this experience happened to me. I am 62 years old. I was born to Estonian parents. They escaped Europe shortly after World War II ended and came to Canada. Both were in Germany during the war. My father was a machinist there and my mother ended up in a displaced persons camp. My father was deeply impacted by fascism and my mother traumatized by communism. Growing up, to say the least, was horrible. I know they did the best they could to raise me. In the 1960s corporal punishment was the norm. I was a handful and was alone most of the time. I was a sensitive, creative child. My father was a lumberjack who I saw twice a month. I was bullied constantly at school and was acting out all the time. Anger and rage were building up. By 13, I was completely out of control, drinking and smoking weed and cigarettes. I began selling drugs and learning the skills of a criminal. By 17, I was shooting crystal meth and working with the second largest motorcycle gang in the world. By 21, I was almost murdered twice, after a baseball bat beating in a gravel pit. I finally hit bottom. My probation officer was a recovering alcoholic and former criminal. He gave me hope for the first time in my life. I was 21 when I went to rehab and learned about the 12 steps. Halfway through, I had my very first spiritual awakening. I was reborn. Steps 8 and 9 are about making amends. I thought, how can I possibly make amends to literally hundreds of people and society? A voice spoke into my head. Help others. I had no idea what that meant. The 12th step is having had a spiritual awakening as the result of working these steps. We try to carry this message to others and to practice these principles in all our affairs. In September of 1981, myself and three others started the first meeting of Narcotics Anonymous in Ontario. We had no idea it was the very first. I began working in the addiction field in 1983. I was being compelled to work at this alcohol detox. After some persistence, they hired me. I only have grade 8 education. I was being paid $22 an hour when minimum wage was only $5. It was the most humbling and beautiful job I've ever had. I spent three years there. I began getting offers to work at other addiction facilities. By 1994, I had worked at three different ones including the largest recovery home, sober living facility in Ontario. I was the very first program coordinator of this 30-man facility and actually developed the programming. I was offered this job and then they went through the interview process. One applicant had a master's degree. I was humbled. I got sidetracked in 1994. I stopped 12 step meetings and began my own computer business. I relapsed after 13 years clean. Later in 1994 I got back on track. I went to a six-month rehab and then back to meetings and the 12 steps. I had never really tried meditation seriously. I met a person who was an aromatherapist and an energy healer. Donna taught me how to meditate. I practiced for 90 nights listening to guidance meditation tapes. I eventually was able to go into deep states of meditation. In 1996, I had that profound experience that I mentioned earlier. Donna had become a real mentor to me. She introduced me to her mentor Louise. She was starting a meditation group and asked me to attend. When I went there, I noticed that I was the only guy. I was there with about 20 women. We had all brought our pillows as instructed. We laid down on the carpet. Louise began guiding us. It didn't take me long to go into trance. Louise's voice was long gone. I was on a cloud and it was like the most comfortable recliner ever. Then I was on a beautiful beach with the ocean to my left. Over to my right was a group of people in the distance. Instantly, I was there with them. I was in the middle of a large circle of people who were holding hands. To my horror, they were mostly people I knew. There were others who had no features other than a human form. Some of these people were alive in this dimension and others had passed over. I began to cry. These were all people that had loved me. I looked into each of their eyes and they had the most beautiful loving smiles. I remember just looking at a few of them when instantly I was back on the beach. Way down the beach I saw someone coming towards me. There was a man with the whitest hair and beard the whitest robe and a staff. I was already a sobbing mess. When he was about 50 feet away, I received the most powerful wave of unconditional love imaginable. He said to me that he had saved my life six or seven times. He told me to stop with the computer stuff and get back to helping others. 
This was the same voice that I heard back in 1981. This was God himself and he was giving me heck. God came closer and before he put his left arm around my shoulder God gave me a loving slap on the back of my head. I'm crying once again as I type this. We walked a few feet together and then turned towards the water. A set of stairs began to materialize, one step at a time. We started to walk up the stairs. We may have gotten up a dozen stairs or so when God faced me and said you cannot come any farther. I was devastated. That arm around my shoulder was so loving. The stairs behind me started reappearing and I came back down them. Next I was back with the meditation class. I could not stop sobbing. This continued for about a half an hour. Louise didn't know what happened to me or how to help. I left thinking that my mind had completely snapped. I had a spiritual advisor and he told me that I had a theophany, the burning bush experience and that they were extremely rare. He assured me that I was sane. I obviously was back on track. I've had the privilege of working with hundreds of men and teenagers over the last 40 years. I have witnessed countless miracles since then and I am certainly one of them. I've had another four out-of-body experiences since that very first one but none quite as incredible as this one. I'll tell you all about them another time.